Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Zycel device and specifically the NWA50AX with the Nebula mobile app. And after that, we are going to manage it via the cloud. So first of all, we will need to install the Nebula mobile app right here. After that, we just need to get started with either sign up an account or login. So in this case, since this is a new account, so I will need to hit the create account button right here. And after that, I will need to fill in my username, password, and as well as the name. So after that, I will need to input my name and of course the phone number as well as the email address so let's do that together so vietnam and then the email so this is a test email so just put it in and after we have done all of the basics information let's click the create account to proceed so after that, Zyza will send an email to your mailbox. So we will need to check and proceed accordingly. So I have just received email and all I need to do is click on the activate account. And right here, I will be set up a new password. So let's do that. Very good. Let's click continue to proceed remind me later maybe skip and after that i will redirect it to the nebula mobile app so let's click start to log in again and this time i already have my account so i will just log in as usual all right so sign in Hey, it looks like your first time here. Let's get you set up. All right, let's start. So my sign name, let me put maybe Van Tech Corner and the time, the time zone and the country already correct. So create. So now let's add the first device to the nebula. So we can do either using the box. So basically we just need to scan the box and we can see that it say one device has been added. So let's click the next button. And right here I can see that my AP was successfully added to the cloud. So we have the device serial number as well as the MAC address. Let's go next. So there are some offer for a trial. So I think we can just go ahead and give a try with the Nebula Pro. Next. Firmware upgrade. If a newer firmware is available, do you want to upgrade during device registration? Yes, please. And click next. So here is show us how to connect the device. So I think we can do that right now. So basically it say that the routers is connected to the AP. So this is the cable from my upstream router. So it will be connected to the LAN port. Okay, so you can see that this is the LAN port. And then we will need to connect the power adapter to it since we are not using PoE at all. So that's it. So right now the device is being put in off and we can see the blinking colors of amber and green. So let's just wait for the device to complete boot off. And now we can click next. So here we can create the Wi-Fi address ID and password. So I will put it when TC lab and the password. So I think I will go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 just for a test. And right here, we have the option to enable the smart mesh. 
So I'm going to go with it because later on I'm going to add another AP to this network. But if you don't want to create your Wi-Fi, you can just go and click the skip button right here. So create and we can see that we have an overview, we have the site, the Wi-Fi name and the password. So enter dashboard. And right now we can see that the device is still offline because the device is still good enough. So right now we can see that the device is still showing offline because it's still boot enough and it's not ready yet. So after your first boot up, you will have some kind of firmware upgrade starting in the background as well as the configuration scene from the Nebula Cloud to your AP. So that's why it's not ready for now. From my experience, on the first time of boot up, install the upgrade and the configuration, it will take around 5 minutes. So you can go and grab a cup of coffee while waiting for the device to do all the operation itself. After around 10 minutes, we can see that the device finally come up with online status. However, it looks like something is still happening in the background. That's why we can see that the configuration is not up to date. So let's go to the Wi-Fi connection and let's verify if everything is up and running or we need to wait for another few minutes. All right, so very good. We can see that the Venti C Lab Wi-Fi already show up. So let's connect to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's hit the join button. So let's go back to the Nebula mobile app and let's see if we have something show up on the device. So let me see, we have the location, device list, no client connected yet. All right, so it looks like the device is ready, but some of the statistics is not completely seen to the cloud so I assume that we will need to wait for some more minutes so let's be patient so now we have everything ready we have the divine online and right here we can see the status we can see that the configuration is not up to date and it requires a firmware upgrade all right very good we can do that later so here we have some of the tools such as connection tests locator LED or reboot and we can also see the model of the AP serial number MAC address LAN IP address public IPv4 address as well as the function to do the system upgrade we can click the edit button to rename or assign it to a different site very well so now we start to see some of the statistics show up right here on the dashboard on the Wi-Fi, we can create another Wi-Fi network. We can set it to private or open. And then we can have some advanced configuration if we are using the Nebula web. All right, so it will take some time to refresh and we can see that we have uh, some statistics of the Wi-Fi client in the past 24 hours and the data that have been transmitted and things like that. So. This is the tone or the thing you can do with the Nebula mobile app and if you are using the Nebula web interface, there are much more things you can do and it is more advanced. So we will need another video to explore that together. So that is all for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.